So let's talk uh, about your DVD, you, yeah. just, uh, you just did, and um, about the recording session. Uh, today, uh, lots of things have changed in the, in the recording studio. Lots of people just doing MIDI tracks, yeah. and writing drums, not even playing them, because like, everything changed and uh, everybody wants to play and have a cheap album. Right. So, well, here, here, okay, here's... here's Here's what I have to say to that. Um, I have seen the industry change. I've seen people using first program drums and now samples and, and these, these production collections of really well recorded drums that are people are, are, are playing. I've even done a few of them before playing where where they're using they might they can put in you know actual drum track and cut in fills. And that's fantastic. But nobody is going to be able to get the real nuance of playing like a drummer who's playing along with a track. And that's where the magic happens. So I decided to do a DVD because for the last few years I'd been doing these drumming recording seminars. And I'd go all over the world and just bring people in a local studio and spend 12 hours talking about miking, signal path, um, processing, tuning, and my own system of charting, which is a really quick system of charting. And I woke up one day in 2009 and said, you know, I should do a DVD because this is what is happening now in the world. And when you got people like, like Dave Weckl and, um, and J.R. Robinson and you know, all these, these famous studio drummers that have their own recording setups because it's gotten so expensive and the industry has changed. Previously, before you even recorded one drum note, you paid five or six or seven hundred dollars for a studio. Uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars for an engineer, let's say a thousand euro for the day just to record drum tracks before you've even hit a note. Yeah, that's expensive. People are going to want to just use program drums. But if you can give them the ability to play drums for them because you can record them yourself, you could charge somebody a hundred bucks a track. You could charge 50 euro for a track. You could charge 500 euro for a track. I've done it for a variety of different prices, and I might be a little bit more expensive than some people. But what I can do is someone can send me an MP3 on the internet. And before I left for this clinic tour, I did something for somebody in Australia, somebody in Germany, and somebody in Mallorca. So they get Mark Schulman on their tracks. They send me an MP3, and most of them have programmed drums already, or used a sample library, and might have even put in some really good sounding drums. But when I play the track, they go, oh. That's a different story because then they got a drummer responding musically to the track and always doing things they wouldn't, they wouldn't do. So they usually send me a track with or without drum programming. I listen to it. I chart it out. The average pop song I can chart 15 minutes. The average pop song I can record in a half hour. That's two or three takes of drum tracks, extra fills, samples that I'm done. I upload it onto the FTP site in an hour. So I can do a whole record in a day very easily, and I've done it many, many times. And so I put out a DVD called Day in the Recording Studio just to show people how easy it is. And it's fun. I mean, I'm a funny guy. My, my wife's in there checking the drums. We, we, we stage a fake fight between me and the engineer because we're arguing about my technique. And it shows him in the bar drinking, you know. But, you know, because I like to have fun with it all. But the truth is that it's, it's the new business. And I've had some students that are doing really, really well. Students from the original drumming recording seminars I did, I, I saw a guy in San Diego, he said, yeah, I did like 200 tracks this month. I'm like, you're doing more than me. <laughs> but you can do it. And all the money goes in your pocket, and it's so much fun. You can control it. You can do it in your own time. You can go take a nap and wake up at midnight and record a drum track then. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it's just very important to be aware of what the industry is now. Um, record companies in America don't even sign a band that doesn't have their own recording and isn't already selling records or CDs or, or downloaded music. It's kind of backwards because the record industry used to be they'd give you money, develop you now and market you. Now you have it's a self-generated business. You have to record your own stuff, put out your product, and have sold enough units or enough downloads for them to even start looking at you. So I say, great, let's embrace it. Because it puts us all on the same playing field because you keep the money. You know, if you go and record your own product, it's all your money. 
Because historically, a record deal, the artist gets 12 to 15 percent of the money. Well, where's the other 85, 87, 88 percent going? Now it's all yours. So if you sell five or 10,000 units, you can make money. And then you can tour. And you can get interviews with college radio stations in America. And there are all these opportunities. So for me, I see it as a chance, as an opportunity to embrace the new world and embrace what's going on now. So I decided, man, I'm going to do this DVD. And then I came out with my own signature snare drum to boot oh, yeah. for Gretsch, that's which I'm very excited right. about as well. And, that's, um, and that came out very organically. I was talking to John Palmer, who's the design engineer for, for KMC Gretsch in America. And I've been doing so many clinics. I said, John, you know, I'm doing these clinics, and I'd love to have a second snare drum, but Gretsch doesn't seem to have the kind of second snare drum that I would want to play. I'd want to play a wood drum like a 12 or a 13 and make it deeper like a 6 but high quality, but not super expensive. And I've always played the fat snares, snares underneath because I always like a lot of crisp articulation as well as fatness. And so by the time I got done describing everything that I wanted in the drum, John said, okay, let's make the Marshall and Signature Snare. And then it came out. It's a 12 and it's a 13 and it's a medium priced drum, but it sounds great. And it's great for like, you know, hip hop, you know, R&B, urban stuff. And it's also, you can get a really fat tone for rock stuff too. So I, it's a great drum and it's actually selling better than anybody expected, so I guess we're doing something right. Great, so go and check One Day in the Recording Studio DVD from Mark Schubert. A Day in the Recording Studio, distributed by Hudson Music. And uh, The Mark Schulman Signature Snare Drum, 12 and 13 inch. Thank you James. Thank you very much. You're a gentleman. You're this is Mark nice. Schulman out. Check markschulman.us and uh, Check my all-star rock band, rockerscollective.com, and check our educational programs, theuniversityofrockandroll.com. Peace out.